we need some chilling visuals right now because uh, we're in a dangerous moment and there's no constituency in the U.S. calling for diplomacy except for basically Mark Milley, uh, the chair of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. Remember him? A few months ago, he said we need to have diplomacy with Russia. He's pretty much the only person of that prominence to advocate that. Um, Some Republicans sometimes, you know, in the fringe speak about it, but not they don't really do anything substantive about it. And of course, in the, in the Democratic Party, it's just non-existent. It's just, you know, but the one time that House progressives tried to propose diplomacy, they withdrew it 24 hours so later. Pathetic. So yeah, that's where we're at. Ilan Omar was saying some things at the beginning, but she's basically now with the program. Ilan Omar said that sending billions of dollars in weapons to Ukraine would be likely disastrous. And then when it t- came time to vote on sending those billions of dollars worth of weapons to Ukraine, she voted for it. And then when protesters confronted her about that, she called them basically d- disseminators of Russian propaganda. So <laughs> it's anyway, it's uh, if we survive this moment, which, you know, I think we will. Obviously, I'm not predicting a nuclear holocaust, um, but you have to wonder about these threats because we are accelerating them. If we survive this moment, I do think we'll look back on these progressives in Congress as being. of historic irresponsibility in refusing to stand up to a neocon proxy war that could have been avoided with diplomacy uh, as we've talked about before we're not going to get into now but there were other ways to avoid this that doesn't absolve russia of responsibility obviously but in terms of our actions what we could have done there was a whole lot starting with letting ukraine be neutral rather than trying to turn it into a proxy on russia's borders and respecting the peace process inside ukraine that could have ended the civil war there uh, between warring sides with the U.S. and Russia on opposing side. There were things that could have been done, but those aren't even discussed right now as we instead just try to address the conflict by flooding in more weapons.